a friend smash that subscribe button it really helps us out also we have hundreds of videos and playlists on here for you enjoy the video hey friends shane from howtowrench.com and on that v4 honda 1995 vfr 750 that we've been doing a bunch of videos on in the last couple of videos i did some shorts showing the fuel leaks on the crossover tubes and fuel supplies not really surprising for content on the How to Wrench channel. We've done quite a bit of that, talking about how if you're going to do the job, you need to do all of it. And then also keep in mind that don't think of the vehicle as a 1995. Think of it as a 29-year-old vehicle, and you'll start to go, yeah, rubber parts probably get bad. Here's a close-up of that flattened-out O-ring that was leaking. You can see the junk that's on there. So the next thing you got to think about is where those feed, right? So sometimes you have it where they just feed one float needle and it's dead and that's it and you're done with it. Or you have it where it's a cross through and it may feed, you know, two different sides. On this particular one, I believe this one's the dead one. And then this one is the one, get this orientated here. When you, when that pipe connects here in the nominal position, that's going to go in Let's see, this way, okay, and it's going to feed this float needle, okay? So here's what we have to think about, right? If you just threw these in ultrasonic, said, okay, you know, things will get clean, here's where you're going to get into trouble if you didn't know this. It's very common on these key and carburetors, Honda, Kawasaki, a lot of people used them, is that down inside there, can you see that? There's a fuel screen. Look at that. Here's where it sucks on these. That is non-serviceable. So you are not able to remove that. Okay. A lot of the carburetors, not V4s, but a lot of your inlines, you could just pull that whole seat out and access that up into a certain point. They started to get to a, an EPA point where they weren't making it, you know, serviceable. They were taking away a lot of those opportunities. Maybe it was a manufacturing cost, different things, but like this case, this is a non-serviceable seat. So if that wears out from vibration, gets an egg-shaped seat on there, you're you're done. I mean, you need a new carburetor. So this is really a bummer of a deal. The old stuff was neat because you could unthread that, pop in a new one and be good to go. But let me get back to the point that I'm trying to make here. If I just threw this in ultrasonic and called it a day, whatever junk that's in there, after a while, enough buildup could potentially restrict the fuel flow to that carburetor, okay? So super, super important that you know if you're in this deep, getting those cleaned, I'll be cleaning them ultrasonic, cleaning ultrasonic, looking at it with the magnifying glass like I did. I'll show you my shop setup here. I've got this magnifying glass that I converted to LED that is just the bomb for me getting up in here and being able to uh, analyze my work. And then I just can't stress enough how important basic maintenance is on the motorcycle of changing out the fuel supply filter. These are shockingly pretty coarse, and you'd be surprised what will pass through these. So, you know, keeping your fuel supply as clean as possible, going to good known gas stations, things like that are going to help you out a lot. You know, I would expect that there's probably even a screen in here in the fuel pump itself. Can't 100% verify that because I haven't taken it apart because you can't. But just want to make a point here how important this is. If we contaminate this, you know, here, then we're contaminating all four carburetors, right? And then you've got four little screens you probably didn't even know about. So just kind of getting you to think about this as a whole of why it's so important to make sure and watch these how to wrench videos. Maybe you got another uh, creator out there that you love, but really think about the risk that you take. If you decide, hey, this is too much for me, you can get a hold of how to wrench. We do carb services all over the world. People ship them here and we can take care of them for you. We've got a bunch of member videos too, where you can really just learn how to do it yourself. And then we also have one-on-one -on -one classes if that works better for you. All right, my friends. Another little pro tip from How to Wrench. Put in the comments below, are you surprised by that screen? And are you thinking, uh-oh, I maybe did some carb jobs that you kind of wonder about? Yeah, put some comments below. We love hearing from you. We're going to get back to work. But as always, make it a great day and keep wrenching.